Hey, what's up everyone? This is your girl Royal Ashley. Today I am interviewing a Christian hip hop artist out of Houston, Texas. Oh look, he's right over here, Mr. Crucial. What's up everybody? It's Mr. Crucial giving all glory to Jesus Christ. You already know what it is. Miss Royalty right here. We Royal. We're about to show yes. you what it is. 777 crew. That's right. So you gonna take us in? Let's Where go. are we at? Let's what go. church are we Come at? On. We at the North Side Community Church. Community right Church, here. yes. Hey, what's up everyone? This is your girl Royal Ashley. I'm sitting here with Mr. Crucial. He is a Christian hip-hop artist out of Houston, Texas. And I'm so blessed to even be in his presence right now because he has an amazing testimony that he's going to share with us today. How are you doing, Mr. Crucial? I'm doing great. It's all glory to Jesus Christ. I'm really blessed. Just be able Amen. to, uh, you know, speak the word and just let people know about a great God, a glorious God that he's mighty to save. And I'm just grateful. So, Mr. Crucial, where, where are you from? Man, I'm from, uh, I was born in California, Orange County. But, uh, yeah, we, we moved over here in Houston, Texas with uh, my mom and stuff like that. So uh, I, I was basically raised up in, in Houston, Greens Point, you know, to be exact, um, the rough streets when it was called Guns Point. And uh, back in the days, you know, it was it was a little rough growing up, you know what I mean? Uh, I grew up impoverished, you know what I'm saying? Broken home, but uh, God has always been a, a good father to me, you know what I'm saying? I, I've been through a lot of experiences in life that's uh, sh shown me that the only hope I could have is in God, you know, and, and God is all, always always the one that doesn't fail. He's always winning, and He keeps us, you know what I'm he saying? He always wins. That's he always right. wins. That's what He told me too, exactly. So we win because God wins, you know what I mean? That's right. You you were born and uh, born and raised in California, and you moved to Houston. Yeah. You were fine. So fine. And you moved to Greens Point. Tell us a little bit about um, how it was growing up in Greens Point. Well, basically, I mean, like I said. Um, you know, uh, it, it, it was rough growing up. Uh, I had to move a lot too, you know. I didn't just live in Greenspoint, I lived in Hastings area, uh, A-Leaf. Uh, people know Sugar Branch, you know, that's a rough area, Spice Lane. Um, I grew up in, in just uh, the most, uh, like you could say ghetto, you know what I'm saying? It was the hood and stuff like that. So, you know, we always had to learn how to fight, you know, and. Growing up the way I grew up, it's just it's been it's been difficult because I didn't have a father figure, so that kind of didn't uh, help me out because learning how to be a man, I had to learn on my own. You know what I'm saying? So I was when I, I was 17 and I was living a life of sin and uh, like just living a life of sin, adultery, just uh, you know being someone that didn't know God. You know. And the reason I say uh, God's always been there for me, because I look back and I see how, you know, God kept me from getting killed, shot. You know what I'm saying? Like, just being in a in a in an environment where I was growing up with you know, my dudes that had tattoos and just thugging and telling me how to be a a man. I just didn't know how to be a man. You know what I'm saying? So I had to, you know, learn from the old schools, from the people to tell me, oh, this is how you gotta be a man. But I didn't understand. You know what I'm saying? What what it was to really be a man, you know what I'm saying? Because you didn't God, have a father God, yeah, God didn't show me that until when I got 17. He was like showing me, man, that lifestyle, fighting, it was not worth it. You know what I'm saying? Uh, nobody wanted to be around me because I had blood on me. You know what I mean? I had a ship on my shoulder that I I I, I would carry. You know what I'm saying? Uh, because of the abuse, I would do endure uh, as a as a kid, just getting angry and bitter, and I would fight all the time. So, like, just to protect myself. But the reason I say that is because God, God had to change my mind. He had to change me and break me to mold me into the to the man He wanted me to be. And He He showed me, and it, and it took my brother getting shot eight times, but by God's grace, he's still alive. You know, to realize because I was I was there when when uh, he got shot. I went over like I was like a, literally a street over. You know what I'm saying? So I got the call that my brother got shot eight times, and he was laying on the pavement and, and I went over there you know in, in a hurry but when I got there he, my brother was already bleeding out so he was like five minutes before he was gonna what, what were your thoughts at that time at the, at the time I had just got out the army 
I, I had that PTSD, so I was always on the on the swivel. They say the swivel, and uh, I had so much PTSD and anxiety, and, and I just didn't want nobody like I didn't want my brother to die. So I prayed to God and I asked God. I said, I said, God, if you keep my brother alive, I promise I won't be playing in the streets anymore. I won't, I won't be out chasing women. I won't be doing you know the crazy stuff. And then he kept my brother alive. And as soon as he did that, he. God spoke to me in my dream. He spoke to me. He said, because of my son, your sins are forgiven. He said, go to them who I tell you to go to and speak what I tell you to speak. And then he said, do not let them influence you, but you influence them. So once once God spoke to me, he showed me his power. I was I was already fearing God. I, I feared God because I I just felt that fear, that, that, that power that God had. So I, 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 I got comforted that God was able to you know, come for me and, and say that I was one of his, you know what I'm saying, one of his kids. So I was able to, to speak what his, his word wanted me to, to speak. So that gave me the, the ignite, the igniting to, to, to keep going, pursuing. And nobody really understood me when I was telling people about PTSD and anxiety and all this stuff like that. Mm -hmm. But God, God uh, he, he named me, Jay, my, my, my real name is Jason, but it means healer. So I have a word of healing to the people that have PTSD and they suffer from, from like traumatic, you know, things in their life, you know what I'm saying, that, that's, that's how I grew up, I grew up nothing but traumatic, you know, like just bipolar, and God healed me from all that, like he healed me from being like such a, like a, a bitter person, yeah, and I, I always teach about God's love, Jehovah's love, because I, one day I went to a church, and this church, he, this pastor, I mean, I, I came hung over from, from, you know what I'm saying, from clubbing from the, the night before, and they invited me to go to church, and I didn't want to go, but my brothers would convince me to like, go, man, go. So I was like, all right, you know, I was already homeless. Nobody, you know what I'm saying? Nobody wouldn't want to be around me because I had blood on me, you know, from, from fighting all the time. Like, what I mean by blood is like the garment, like nobody wanted to deal with me. So I went to church, hung over, and this pastor gave me a hug. And I, and I felt that hug of like the Jehovah love. And it was like a hug that just healed me. And like the stupor went out, like, you know. And I felt that love, and I was like, wow, you know what I'm saying? Like, I never got hugged by, by a dad, so it felt, it felt good to be hugged. Like, you know, it's crazy being 17 and never been hugged, you know what I'm saying? And it, it's kind just of corny. Just, just to, to feel, feel like love. Just feel love. Just feel love. different type of love. Like, I wasn't worthless, you know? Like, everybody judged me when I was in, like, when I would go to church, I'd be like, you know, like this sinner, like this. That's why I just, I just try to show people that Jehovah love because I know that people go through through some traumatic things in their life. Yeah, there's and people they, actually right now watching that are probably going through the same thing as you. And, and, I, and I got this word to confirm, you know, to them that God is always going to be there for them and never leave them, nor forsake them. And, and God is a, a God of love, of, of passion, of peace, of, of a good heart, you know what I'm saying? God, I mean, like, the way God does his work, man, it's just, it's beautiful, you know what I'm saying? He gives beautiful ashes, and, and, I, I, and, and I just definitely... I encourage people who are out there listening to, to trust Jesus Christ and, and his sacrifice, you know what I'm saying? His sacrifice is enough for us, you know what I'm saying, so, so we can receive a new life. And that's what, you know, what my crew does, man. Uh, we're 777 crew. It's a Christians reaching everyone willingly. Seven is the seven, the Father, seven, the Son, and, and seven, the Holy Ghost. Like 777 so, crew, so, the perfection so, of God. So talking about the 777 crew, you came up with your own um, design, right? Came yeah. up with their own design and your own brand, right? Yeah, I, I'm gonna I'm introduce you to my little son. <laughs> Jesus bless him. Hi, how are you? 777 crew is seven the Father, seven the Son, seven the Holy Ghost, Christians reaching everyone willingly. And, and, the, and that's, that's the design that you created, Correct. right? Yeah, God gave me this vision. He gave me that vision, uh, the wings and, and the crown, you know what I'm saying? Because God put a crown in my head. And, puts a crown on the head and he says that we conquered it all, you know, when we're in the spirit of God. I love it. I love yeah. it. Let me see. Come on. Let me take a closer look at it. Oh, wow. So it's 777 Crew and then you named it Records, right? Records. Yeah, Records because we make so, music. So not, only, so not only did you create the shirt, but everything that you've been through in life, you also created um, music out of it, right? Yeah, correct. Like. I got so, you, so you're an artist. Yeah, like I've been talented with uh, God's been giving me this gift. You can go play, baby. Um, God gave me a gift of, of, of rapping, of uh, of utterance, the word of God, and I, I thank God for every good gift, you know, because He has uh, bestowed upon me. Like I got the song called "Son of a King," and it's called "Son of a King" because uh, there was a whole bunch of angels. I got a vision from God, and it was a whole bunch of angels, and and God got off the throne, and he 
and he put a crown on my head and hugged me. And he said, uh, you know, basically he made me feel that love of being accepted as a son. So I, I, I made that song said, I don't know what you heard about me. I've been wilding in these streets till the Lord got a hold of me and made me royalty. I'm a son of a king, I'm a son of a king, I'm royalty, I'm royalty. I'm royalty, I'm, royalty. I'm a son of a king, I'm a son of a king, I'm royalty, I'm royalty. Used to throw up the north side, up high to the sky with a heart full of properly lost in the inside till God put his love down on me like a sea catch tea. God put the crown on me on the bleed, now I got a heart full of God, no lie, honesty. I'm a son of the most high, cause Jesus Christ got a hold of me. Maybe royalty, staying loyal to my royalties. I don't know what you heard about me. I was wild in these streets, always in the mix, always into beef. Sending with different women that want to sex with me. Lick it up, ecstasy. Posted up, always ready for the pleasure to be. A Latino, going toe to toe with foes like Devo, like Psalm 18. I'm saved from my enemies, cause God delivered me. It used to be club hopping every week, popping and locking. At the club boxing, where ladies watching and the haters wanna box me. But we stay deep. Knock out artists making foes go to sleep They go blow peep Sippin' on OEs with the OGs I'll repeat to the homie, homie Living for a new legacy I don't know what you heard about me I've been wildin' in these streets So the Lord got a hold of me Hear my testimony Just Google Three, Google Yeah, Google Yeah, Google Mr. Cruz Show on YouTube Hear my testimony Just Google Google Mr. Cruz Show on YouTube Mr. Cruz Show it's very powerful that, you know, you, you created something, like, as far as, like, you know, your music for, for people to come in and tune in and listen to, like, your testimony and what you're doing and what happened in the past, you know? Yeah. But so. God gives news, so I, my, my, my whole job is try to give people hope and give them a word, you know? I got this new song called Power Moves 2, and it's, it's, it's you know, blow people away, man, just... T telling people that when we when the power of God, man, nothing can really stop us. Is that and is that the music video you just shot, right? Yeah, with with, um, with, with text. Yeah. yeah, shout out to text. Shout um, out to text and from, Jessica Jean. Yeah, Jessica Jean. It's been a it's been a wonderful journey, you know, and and, and having Miss Roy, Ashley, she's been a blessing to me too, and just having like the culture like just accept me as a Christian artist and. You know, just a servant of God and knowing, you know, I make this good art for them, for people to hear and enjoy, you know what I'm saying? Because it comes from a good heart from what God gave me, you know what I'm saying? His talent, His gift, so his, it's Jesus' glory, you know what I'm saying? So. Amen, amen. Here with Mr. Crucial, we're going to go on a quick break and we'll be right back. I don't know what you heard about me I've been wilding in these streets So the Lord got a hold of me And made me royalty I'm a son of a king I'm a son of a king I'm royalty I'm royalty I'm a son of a king I'm a son of a king I'm royalty I'm royalty Yeah Lord God, who am I? Who is me? Who is my family that you would give us this dynasty? You speak the future of my house Your servant is well pleased I'm a son of a king it's more than my clothing brand, it's who I am. What's up, it's Paul Wow. You tuned in to the Royal Show with my girl Roy Ashley already. Hey, y'all know what it is. Paul for your bed. I'm so bored of the right there. I'm breaking, I'm breaking my for your bed. I'm breaking, I'm breaking my for your bed. Welcome back, everybody, to the Royal Show. I'm sitting here with Mr. Crucial, a hip hop Christian artist. So for those of you that just tuned in, this is Mr. Crucial. He's doing big things here in Houston, Texas. Mr. Crucial, what model do you live by? But shoot, it's all about Jesus Christ and the cross. You know what I'm saying? Because that's where the acceptance is at, man. If God nailed our sins to the cross, He says, you know, it's finished. You know what I mean? So I just uh, tell people, man, that it's all about Jesus. It's not about us. It's not about who we think, you know, it's about. It's, a, it's all about God. You know, it's all about Jesus. Right, and exactly. just knowing that, you know. It's, I, I, I want to know what made you um, turn into music like what what made you turn and go that route like music well god has always given me that that gift of a rap i mean i used to listen to tupac back in the day and i i used to listen to like a lot of like the gangster rap so were homeboys. you always a rapper though yeah i used to you know rap with the homies you know when we were okay. we would drink and, and kick back you know what i'm saying and we just rap and freestyle for like hours but 
you know, God really gave me a purpose behind that, that rap, you know what I mean? Like, I didn't, I never expected to be a rapper for God, you know what I mean? So, I'm very grateful that he, he, he was even able to give me this talent to, to glorify his name with, you know what I'm saying? So, um, yeah, I definitely, I definitely enjoy making music, you know, I, I, it's something, it's a passion of mine. Passion. And it's just, a, it's a beautiful art that I, I, I just like, I have a gift, man. God wakes me up and gives me an ear to hear and I, I hear different noises and I hear, it's kind of crazy. Some people... You gotta be born with it, man. It's, it's just like that that tune. I'd be like, oh man, that would so, sound so you're nice. So like, it. it's a gift, and some people just gotta be born with you it. Gotta, God gave you that gift. God gave me to come that out gift. Here and to, to, so, so pretty much, it's like it's like you preaching, but like through your music, through right? My music, through right. your music, you're preaching. It's 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 really like uh, me telling a a, a story, story or, or, or a, a true story, basically. Like you've been through a lot in life. I've been through a lot, but it, it's 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 like. I, I'm not. I'm not how I, how what I've been through. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't look like what I've been through. Cause God gives us new life. You know what I'm saying? So it's just like, I'm just so grateful for for the new experiences of, of, of being able to help people that are are struggling with PTSD. I struggled with a lot of PTSD when I was young. Uh, not just when I was young, but when I got out the army too. Uh, I actually get paid for that. You know what I'm saying? Like people. Be like, man, you know what? But I, I tell a man, hey, there is a healing for PTSD and trauma. You know what I'm saying? So that 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 music is another it's another way of medicine for me. You know what I'm saying? So I, I let people hear my music when they hear it. The instrumentals hit them like back like when King David used to to sing sing uh, to Saul. You know what I mean? He 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 would stop being tormented. You know what I mean? So that's kind of like my my gift that God gave me. I'm like King David with the music, and I'm. Stammering with people that have been tormented by spirits or by, you know what I'm saying, just by, by th different things that they, especially with the music that, that's going on right now. Right, right. Uh, like, let's do this and this and this and let's shoot <laughs> people, man. We're going to hurt these motherfuckers. And, this and, and God, God gives, he makes me flip it for them, man. You know what I'm saying? I, there's a song that I made, it's called Dripping. Uh -huh. You know what I'm saying? It's like, the anointing is on me. And it's dripping on me, dri dripping no, on me. me. I know they tripping on me. Cause I'm living holy. That Jesus has chose me. You know, it's just something like flipping it for them boys, right, man. Right. You know, dripping, everybody talking about drip. Everybody talking about drip. And I, I and still, I, shout yeah. out to Southwatch. Hey, drip. hey, ain't hey, nobody tripping <laughs> on that, you know, but it's just, I like to, I, I do a wholesome, right, you know what I'm right, saying? Right. So, so every, every just to encourage people, people, man, I, I like, I like you. I like to encourage, to have, lift up. To have a help, you know what I'm saying? Like a, a, a sound mind and, and, and to the pure, everything's pure, you know what I mean? There's nothing wrong with There's no wrong with, like, you know, I got artists, man, that, that song with the, uh, with, with basically like the, the voice and American Idol. I got artists uh, on my on my record label, 777 crew, like named Grizzly, my homeboy, a uh, low G. They call him Lolo, -Lo, but you know, it's not like low G from the- I know, sure, but <laughs> They call him like, he look like him, but he yeah, ain't yeah. him, you know what I'm saying? But it's all good, man. We just Christian rappers, man. We Latinos, we mix, like, I'm Salvadorian, Puerto Rican, you know what I'm saying? So it's just like, we bring the culture to them. To the people that that really don't really get heard, man. Us Latinos, we got talents for God, man. We just want to show it, show it to glorify God. And Is there any encouraging words that you would like to put out um, there today before we close out? Yes, I would encourage you to like Seven 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 Crew <laughs> Records on Facebook and Mr. Crucial on Facebook. Man, go follow the ministry. It's all about Jesus Christ in the cross. And this ministry is gonna is gonna help you come closer to God. My rap music is gonna make. You Come closer to God. I'm telling you, you're gonna love the music. It's pure, and it's just gonna be a new thing for you guys, man. And I and I and I enjoy each and every one of uh, of my of my supporters out there. Um, it's legit, man. It's all about Jesus, man. God chose us for this, man. And you know, it's just God ordained. No man chose us but God. You know what I'm saying? God Almighty. So y'all be in tune with the with the Lord, man, and, and check our music out, 777 Crew and Mr. Crucial on YouTube, all right? Peace yes, so make sure y'all go check out Mr. Crucial. Until next time, make sure y'all always keep it royal. Royalty. Pop in and lock it at the club boxy where ladies watching and the haters wanna box me. But we stay deep, knock out artists making foes go to sleep. Then no bo peep, sipping on OEs with the OGs. I repeat to the homie, homie, living for a new legacy. I don't know what you heard about me. I've been wilding in these streets. To the Lord, I got a hold of me. It made me royalty. I'm a son of a king. I'm a son of a king. I'm royalty. I'm royalty. I'm a son of a king. I'm a son of a king. I'm royalty. I'm royalty.